Tip of the Week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the Village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Since there's so many variables with this steelhead, something that can be really helpful is buying yourself a leader wallet. As you're winter fishing and you have a wide array of tips, they're not cheap and they're easily misplaced with just little markings on them. And you wanna make sure they're organized so you know which ones are which and where they are at all times. So we like just a simple leader wallet, something that is compact and that I can keep a lot of different tips, different lengths, different weights in an organized fashion which really makes my life easier and more economical since I won't lose as much and I'll have them all right here when I need them. In a run like this, or really any run during the winter time, one of the most important aspects of the swing is the hang down. Especially in a run like this, where the fly is kind of out into the, into the river, I can let this thing hang down for quite some time because it's not hanging up and it's still fishing very well. A lot of times you might pick a fish up earlier in a swing and they're just curious following it along and aren't going to commit until it gets into the slower water like it's getting away from them or something. So a lot of times it's easy to get antsy and want to start stripping in right now but you have no idea if you have a fish following and you might have to bring them all the way in here before they decide to eat. Another really good habit to get into especially as we get later into the winter is really slowing down your first couple of retrieves back. And on your first two or three strips, make sure they're nice and slow, just like you're stripping back a trout streamer. You get a lot of grabs as you start pulling that fly away from the fish. If it's followed it all that way, you might actually get it to eat right at the end. If I pull my fly in too quickly, or I take a couple quick strips right at the end, you never know, but you might have pulled that fly too quickly away from that fish. So especially in the winter time, really let that fly dangle below you for an extra 10 seconds or so, as long as you're not hanging up, because you get a lot of fish that follow you before they commit to eating it. 